He's there. Right, now you guys have all heard me stand up for Preeti Patel on a number of occasions saying that she's the right person for the job and that she, she had plans and was committed to doing a very good job as Home Secretary. Well, I'm afraid to say now with this latest move that she's just made, any respect that I had for her has now vanished. Now, she's constantly made noises, the correct noises, about stopping illegal immigration, cutting down on immigration in general. Uh, she's also ruffled the right feathers. We've seen soy boys like that Philip Rutnam, the head of the civil service, resign because she was a bit too bullying towards him, you know, a bit too uh, forceful and a bit too um, aggressive or whatever towards him, and he decided he couldn't handle the uh, a woman of colour telling him what to do, so he resigned. Um, obviously, the left, the civil service in general, were they didn't, they didn't like her, you could tell. So you could see that she was making the right noises and ruffling the right feathers. But noises are one thing, action is something else. And despite the number of times that we've been told that, we, that she's going to get tough, with these uh, illegal migrants crossing the channel, all we've seen is the numbers go up and up and up. Now we've got to the point now where the public don't believe that she's got an intention to uh, cut it down. I've always said that I believe that she did have and that she was being thwarted by the civil service and possibly by even Boris Johnson himself. But now, because... More and more people are now filming uh, the migrants being brought to Dover by the border farce. The government are now embarrassed. First of all, we've seen Active Patriot filming. Then we saw Steve Laws doing it. And now what I believe is the reason why they've taken this action now is because now Britain First have got in on the action and they've been there filming boats being brought in. The government are embarrassed and what they have done now more represents a police state than it does a healthy democracy. Because rather than the people filming it successfully holding the government to account and forcing them to get off their laurels and do something, they've decided to take uh, legal action against anybody uploading uh, videos of migrants on boats to social media. Now they said... The reason for it was to stop people glorifying it. We knew that was a lie. The reason they're going to do it is because they don't want people down there filming it. Because the more people film it, the more that they become embarrassed and the more of a laughing stock they become. But to ban citizen journalists from actually holding them to account is more reminiscent of a police state than it is a healthy democracy. And this is why now I have got zero respect left for her after taking this move. This is quite chilling. And what I want to know is, where is the Tory hating press on all this? You've got The Guardian, The Independent, Channel 4. Where are they? You would think they would be relishing at the opportunity to hold the government to account and show them up for the failures that they are on this issue. Because make no mistake, this is an epic failure by the government to stop this. The Tory hating press should be all over this. But they're not. The reason they're not is because they agree with migrants galore coming across the channel. They want it to continue. So who is holding them to account? They've just taken this move in order to stop anybody from holding them to account and showing the utter failures that they've become over this issue. If they are taking this action to ban people from filming it, you know that there is one reason for that only. And that is because they know they're failing and they just simply have no intention or are unable to stop this issue from happening. So they've taken the easy route and instead of pulling the socks up, they're taking it out on people who are filming them. This is shameful for a, for a democracy. Absolutely shameful. Shame on Priti Patel for this. Shame on the Tory party for this. And shame on Natalie Elphick, the uh, Tory MP for Dover, who said that people went there protesting against... Uh, illegal immigration, they were not welcome according to her. Well, do your fucking job and then they wouldn't have to be there. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Easy.